So as you guys, the pa your patients were already worrying a little bit about all the things that were floating around about metformin causing cancer, et cetera. And now there has been an actual metformin recall. I'm sure most of you have heard about that. This is the FDA news release from May 28th. Um, and it's really, um, FDA did find uh, some of the NDMA in uh, metformin. Right now it's only been found in some lots of some extended release products. And so I, I gave you the live link there if you wanna go on to the FDA site. It's really important. Um, a lot of the doctors here reached out to me, what do we say? And it's really important, the cancer concern is not with metformin itself. And in fact, people with type two diabetes who take metformin have less liver cancer, less pancreatic cancer, less colon cancer, et cetera. And they're actually doing studies for metformin for cancer for people without diabetes. So it's not metformin, whereas with ranitidine, the, the chemical that makes ranitidine itself can generate this in NDMA, but not metformin. It's a manufacturing contaminant. So it's a contaminant. Um, and the contaminant NDMA is felt to be uh, felt to be associated with ca causing cancer, but that's never been proven in humans. But if you look at the ads that the attorneys have on TV, you would think that it was proven, but it has not been proven. We also get a lot of NDMA in meat, especially cured meat, grilled meat, vegetables, milk, other items. And it used to be used in rocket fuel. And when they used it in rocket fuel, it, it markedly contaminated water sources and environment, and they've stopped using it. Um, but um, we're not, we just wanna keep the level low because it might be cancer causing. And, and I sure wanna do that in people and in myself. I had been taking ranitidine, so I know how scary uh, that feels. Um, so five firms have been contacted by the FDA. I've got four of the names for you. So you can see, you know, maybe is my patient on that, that manufacturer and they need to change to another. Um, those are the five firms. And they're asking everybody to check uh, to see if they have any NDMA contamination. And they think it can be eliminated by manufacturing processes. In the meantime, the FDA is re recommending to patients that they continue on their metformin until they can talk to their healthcare professional about how to replace that, um, and that we shouldn't stop prescribing metformin. We just wanna avoid the lots that have uh, shown contamination. None of the immediate release metformin um, uh, tablets have sh been shown to have this contaminant. So um, I got hold of someone at the FDA and they suggested these extra links for you all to have. Um, so I included those. And then um, this, these companies are on, were on those links when I looked and they, they um, put what they are uh, recalling. And then since then, Teva had 14 lots of ER 500 or 750, and then Marksan from India had only one lot of ER 500. So it's not all metformin, it's not the metformin itself. Hopefully this can be cleared up, but in the meantime, there should be metformin products you can substitute. I know that metformin ER was always my preferred prescribe thing to prescribe because less it has one tenth of the GI side effects and it's easier. Um, but I will stop there and do I just stop sharing to get everybody back? Okay, there we go. Any questions or comments, anything to share, Robin, anything that you have uh, to add on that, on the metformin recall, anybody? Have you guys been getting calls from patients about this? Okay. So Carol, um, this is Tishina again. I, I actually had a provider come to me um, 
I'm a registered nurse in CDE, but one of our providers came and said, I want all of my patients taken off the extended release. I, I appreciate you sharing some information because I was just yeah. like, uh, yeah, so <laughs> you know. Not from one of those. And Robin, how do we find, how do they find out what their patients are on if it's from those companies? Is there any easy way to do that? Um, it would come from the pharmacy that they got the prescription because okay. the lot numbers are in usually okay. scanned in for most places. So, so probably would be the best kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, talk to the pharmacist. They should okay. be looking at their stock and pulling any of those manufacturers. Yeah. And Perfect. The yeah. two that I initially looked up didn't say how many lots, but the one was just one lot. So, um, and, and the FDA is pretty much on top of this now because of, you know, the blood pressure meds and then the ranitidine. And so, um, so those links should be constantly updated. Um, I looked at both of them. Uh, the one has the company and, and what they've recalled. Um, the guy that I sent the email to was um, very responsive. And so if we need to contact him again, I'm not afraid to try that to see where things stand, but hopefully that will be useful. Um, Just as a side note, I know the, um, the metformin ER, any brand is getting more and more difficult to obtain right now because everybody's trying to buy it up. So from the, the clean manufacturers, so that's okay. gonna be a, a problem. So you may have to switch people over just because they're gonna be out of stock very soon. Thanks for mentioning that. That's something we can watch too. Okay. 